I'm Mike. I'm Kat. I'm Jay. And today we're reviewing Batman Arkham City DLC, Harley Quinn's Revenge. Duh. Harley Quinn. You must Revenge. apologize for my speech impediments. I'm sweating and I have a sore back today. Hey, oh. how'd you hurt your back? I was lifting heavy things. Yep. You. Heavy women. And guys, if you haven't already, remember to like the video. It makes Kat happy. It makes me sad. And remember to subscribe. Hey, you know what it makes? What? It makes the children of the world happy. All the children deserve to be happy. I got like it. ourselves. And it saves baby pandas. It actually impregnates them because they don't have much sex. Wait, wait, wait. Spoiler alert. If you guys haven't played the first game, you haven't beaten it, this is going to have spoilers in it. So yeah. stop watching now. Actually, when you start the DLC, it, it kind of warns you that this takes place after the events yeah. of the campaign. It starts off where Joker is dead. Harley Quinn is pissed off. What? Who's dead? Joker! Burr. And Batman is missing. You're playing Robin and Batman was acting all weird and stuff before this. And then he disappears and Robin's trying to find him. And it's like Pulp Fiction. It, it switches between Batman and then all of a sudden it goes like two days prior and then you're Robin and back and forth. I thought it'd be kind of queer to play as Robin. And I don't mean that in a gay way. I just mean strange and different. Right? Like you. But actually it was very cool. All of his abilities are slightly different, but basically the same. Yeah, he has a metal rod that he uses to fight with. The metal rod turns into a shield. Your hair turns It turns into a shield. The like bullets, which Batman does not have. He has a few gadgets that Batman doesn't, but Batman obviously has a lot more gadgets. <laughs> So in this one, it is a smaller map. It doesn't have that same sandbox feel. If you're just playing the DLC to beat the story that's happening in it, you don't really notice. I didn't really notice. I think that is the one minus of it. It's not like the, the quests are all over Gotham. The henchmen walking around have repetitive lines again. You think she could give us a little something warmer to wear? Every, Every two seconds. seconds. Every two seconds. Mm -hmm. I just want the music. The music in this game is amazing. And again, no combat in the air. Well, it's in a building. If you've played the game, everything still holds. Everything is amazing. The mm -hmm. fighting is fantastic. The gameplay is wonderful. The graphics are great. The voiceover is amazing. Robin looks incredible. His, his whole costume, his whole get up, I thought, oh god, I'm playing as Robin, but it really is really well done. thought it was well going to be done. queer. Yeah, I thought it was going to be in gay. In a strange way. No, gay. Okay. The music in this. Yeah hit at the perfect timing. It really paid attention to those dramatic moments. Like when you're fighting, it's like, yeah, and the music's coming in, you're like, ah. What I really enjoyed about it is the dynamic between Batman and Robin. You can see the relationship they have is kind of strange and odd where Robin will like always do things for Batman and Batman will never say thank you. Like he doesn't want to acknowledge that Robin. It's like our relationship. Like Robin is good or something. You can also tell Batman's going through weird issues. So the is Joker. It, he, he is a character that has always dealt with death poorly. His parents yeah. died, his girlfriend died, Joker died now. Not the Joker and her buddies, but he seems to deal with death in a bad way. He's a dark character. He's not Superman. He's not, I'm going to save the world. He's Do you think because though. he went against his own code instead of getting Joker arrested? Yeah, of course. So, for sure. Gotham sure. deserves justice. He's not supposed to be like a vigilante, like I punch you and you die. I found that this game, it didn't tie it up how I might have liked it to, although being that this is based on a comic book, comic books never tie things up neat and tiny. But I love it because it. now it's like, hey, guess what's next? This takes about two hours to play and it's 800 Microsoft points. So was it worth it? I think it's worth it. The only thing I really didn't like about it was what we are talking about before where you're limited to certain areas in the map, yeah. or just basically one building. And also, I thought the the boss battle at the end was a real letdown. Cheap way to end the game. So because of that, I would have to give it an 8 out of 10. I love Batman Arkham City. I gave it a perfect 10 when it came out. But yeah, this is just a little add-on that you should get if you're a big Batman Arkham City fan, but it's not going to blow you away like the original campaign. It's not like did. Red Dead Redemption's no. Undead Nightmare. I totally agree. 8, eight out of 10. I agree. It's sm smaller than it should be, but I mean, it's a DLC. It's kind of what it's supposed to be. Um, I couldn't make a penis joke right now, but... And I give it a 7 out of 10. I don't like it as much as them. I thought that it was a little boring at times. You and just rate little... lower than us. Yeah, whatever. I so discovered I, it. I thought it was a little boring. It's like two hours of the same building back and forth, back and forth. There's not m much going on. You the kind same... of feel like an errand boy. Like, exactly. go these cars, the character, go this bomb. Like, the characters are there, but they're not really doing anything. And then once you get to the main villain of the story, it's just like a an like extreme pushover. It's not gonna like be, oh my god! It's just like a little after note. Like, by the way, Harley Quinn, she's upset. Here it is. So thanks to ANC Games, as always, and aim to game who are our official sponsors for Creation Craft. Coming soon, teaser. Yeah. Cat's <laughs> gonna build level two in Creation Craft. She hates Minecraft.